Hello friends, welcome to this video. In this video, we are going to implement FEBAM, that is Convolutional Block Attention Module in the TensorFlow framework. So here's the pa paper. Let's have a look at the abstract to get the overview about this block. We propose Convolutional Block Attention Module CBAM, a simple yet effective attention module for feed-forward convolutional neural network. Given an intermediate feature map, our module sequentially infer attention map along two separate dimensions, channel and spatial. Then the attention maps are multiplied to the input feature for adaptive feature refinement. Because CBAM is a lightweight and general module, it can be integrated into any CNN architecture seamlessly with negligible overhead and is end-to-end -end trainable along with base CNNs. We validate our CBAM through extensive experiments on ImageNet 1K, MS Coco detection, work 2007 detection datasets. Our experiment shows consistent improvement in classification and de detection performance with various models, demonstrating the wide applicability of CBAM. The code and model will be publicly available. So this is an overview about the CBAM. Now let's have a look at that diagram. So it takes your input feature. It first pass it through a channel attention module. Then it give you attention map. The attention map is then multiplied with the original input and you get a refined input feature. This refined input feature would act as input to the spatial attention mo module, which is further multiplied with this refined input and you get a refined feature map. So now we will try to implement it in the TensorFlow. So first of all we need to import all the required layers. So first we are going to implement channel attention module and then spatial and finally we are going to combine both of them in a CBAM function. So let me show you the block diagram of channel attention module first. So here you can see both the diagram. First is channel attention module. So if you see, you take your input features, then you apply max pool and average pool on the input feature and you get these two sub features. Then they are passed through a shared MLP and you get two more features. Then you add them and apply a sigmoid activation function. This is your channel attention module. So let's try to implement it. So first of all, we need to define a function called channel attention module. The function is going to take two arguments. First is the input feature map. Second is a ratio whose value is 8 by default. Now if you uh, re remember, here we have shared MLP. So we need some shared layer. So we're going to call shared layers. So we're going to say first L1 tens. So here it is going to have some input channel divided by ratio. Then activation would be ReLU. And we're going to say use bias equals to false. Okay. Now we are not going to give it some input. Now we have a next layer called L2, which is also a dense layer. Here the number of output feature channel would be equal to 10. Then we're going to say use bias. Here also it is false. So these are two shared layers. Now you may be asking, what is the value of this channel? So this is basically the number of input channels of this X. So we can simply say B batch then height, then width, we're going to leave it blank, then channel, and we're going to simply say x dot shape. Okay, so we are done with these two shared layer. If you see, we need to apply max pool operation and average pool operation on the input. So, first of all, we're going to apply average pooling. So, global average pooling so we're going to say x1 equals to global 
एवरेज पुलिंग वी गोन गिव इट द इनपुट एंड द इनपुट इज एक्स देन एक्स वन वुड पास थ्रू द एल वन देन एक्स वन अगेन पास थ्रू द एल टू ओके सो दिस इज ग्लोबल एवरेज पुलिंग विच इज पास थ्रू द शेयर्ड लेयर so if you go back to the diagram this is input we first apply the global average pooling pass through shared mlp and we get this feature okay now we're going to go on to the max pool same way we're going to say x2 here we're going to call a function global max pool 2d input would be x Again, so both these max pool and average pool would have same input feature. Okay. Then x two equals to l one. First is going to pass through the layer one. Then layer two. Okay. So now we have x one and x two. So if you see here, we add them and apply a sigmoid activation. So we're going to do the same. Then we're going to say add both. And apply sigmoid. So we're gonna say feats. That is features. Just the name of the variable x one plus x two. Then again feats activation sigmoid. And the input would be feats. Now. Here you can see we get this channel attention. This feeds basically refer to channel attention. Now if you if you again just go back to the simple diagram, you can see we multiply it with the input feature. Okay, so let's uh, do that. So we're gonna say again feeds multiply. So we're gonna say x multiplied with channel attention now we're going to say return feeds so this is our channel attention module this is implemented now we're going to work upon the chain spatial attention mo module so here also we have same two operation but upon different dimension here we need to apply max pool and average pool on the spatial attention and then it passes through a cone layer again sigmoid and then spatial attention and then we're going to multiply it with the input and we get the final refined feature so let's uh, work upon the spatial attention module so we're going to define a function called spatial attention module here the input so this function would be the input feature map only so first of all we're going to have average pooling so we're going to say x1 pf dot reduce mean input x and on the last axis so last x is basically channel axis let's say it has 128 channel so make a mean out of it and give us one channel now we need to expand its dimension on the last this axis minus 1 refers to last axis this way we we have applied average pooling now we're going to apply max pooling x2 pf dot reduce max x x is minus 1 and same way we need to apply this expand dimension we're going to change the name as we have copy pasted it simply it is done now here you can see the concatenate both the features then apply a con layer so let's uh, do the same thing we're going to say concatenate
x1 comma x2 this is done now a cone layer so this would be feeds cone 2d the number of output channel would be 1 kernel size would be 7 so let's write kernel size is 7 so the author have used various kernel size and according to him 7 is the best which is giving good performance padding same and here we need to apply activation function which is sigmoid and the input would be feeds and feeds then we're going to multiply it Their input would be x till attention is in feeds then we're going to give this value back so we are done with both channel attention module and speed till attention mo module so let's execute both of them now we're going to implement the cbam so it is really simple we're going to define a function with the name cbam argument or the input of this function would be x the input feature map first we see go back to this diagram first it apply channel attention module input would be x then this is the output then ptl again input x then we're going to give this value so we are done this is really simple Now we're going to execute it. So if you uh, remember, I also have a video on squeeze and excitation. So in squeeze and excitation, it only has channel attention. So if we compare both the the CBAM and the squeeze and excitation network, I believe CBAM is much better. The author has also compared the CBAM with squeeze and excitation, and in terms of performance, CBAM is much better because it has an addi additional spatial attention more module. With squeeze and excitation does not have. Now let's uh, continue with the CBAM. So now we're going to execute it. So first of all, we need an input feature map. So let give let us give it a shape. Let's say 128 by 128 by 32. Just an imaginary tensor because it does not represent anything for now. It's a random tensor. So we're going to say why that is output of CBAM inputs. Now we're going to print its shape. So here it should have same shape as this original because the shape does not change in the output here. It should remain same. Okay, you can see it's same 128 by 128 by 32. So this is about the CBAM and its implementation in TensorFlow. I hope um, you are able to understand the CBAM and you can use it in your future projects and I, I will also like to use both the squeeze and excitation and the cbam in some of the segmentation architecture um, like unit deep lab and other things to just see if we get a performance boost of like one percent two percent we'll see in the future videos so if you enjoy the content please make sure that you subscribe the channel hit that bell icon and like the video and do share the video with your friend in the facebook group whatsapp group so that i can get a boost thank you have a nice day